Hi, today we're going to make the ends for the pegboard toy. So these could be considered the legs or the ends, whatever you want to call them. All you have to make is one though, because when you do the actual assembly, you can place as many as you want in there, which in our case, we're going to need two. So the pegboard legs are a part file. So you click on part. And what I'm going to do is draw a huge rectangle and dimension it first. So that is start new sketch click on the XY plane and then click on rectangle. I choose this two point rectangle instead of the two point center because I'm going to draw up in this upper right quadrant. So I'm going to draw a big rectangle. Next I'm going to dimension that rectangle. So I click on my dimension tool. I'm going to click on the left hand side of the rectangle and I'm going to make this thing six inches tall. So six, enter. Then I'm going to do the length. So I'll click on the top of the rectangle, I'll go up a little bit, and I want it 3 quarters of an inch long, or 0.75. Enter. And there's my rough sketch. And that's all I need to do now, so I'm going to finish sketch, click on my home view, and then I'm going to extrude this rectangle away from me by 3 inches. And there you have it. Now I do need to notch this out because I'm going to be placing the top of the pegboard toy into the leg. So what I'm going to do is start a new sketch on the face of the rectangle. And what I want is another smaller rectangle inside of this one. Because that's what I'm going to actually notch out or cut. So hover over the right hand side of your rectangle. Make sure it turns black. Click once. Drag over to the left, draw a little rectangle, and click one more time. Now we need to dimension this rectangle. So you click on your dimension tool up top, and from the top of the rectangle you just drew to the top of your previous rectangle, you want it to be two inches down. So that is two, enter. The height of the rectangle that you just drew needs to be point seven five inches because that's how thick your actual pegboard is so 0.75 enter the next thing you need to do is tell it how far you want it from this left edge so I'm gonna click on the left side of my little rectangle to the left side of my large rectangle I'm gonna go up towards the top and I want it 0.375 which is half of 0.75 and then I hit enter so that's it. I have my little rectangle there. You can see how far it is spaced out on the larger rectangle, and I can finish my sketch. From here, if you haven't figured it out already, you want to extrude the rectangle. You click on the little one you just drew. It pulls it all the way out, but I don't want it sticking out. I want it completely removed. So I click on the cut tool from the center here, and it cut the whole thing out. I click OK from there, and there is your end piece. Don't forget to save your file appropriately by clicking on File, Save As, and go to the folder that you have created for your pegboard. This one is called Ends, which I already have a file named that. So I'm going to click on it. I'm going to click Save. And yes, I want to replace that file. And there you have it. You have your end piece done. You can color it as you want and you're ready to move on to the next step in the pegboard toy project.